of human knowledge to a young girl in a remote village on a single handheld device. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory. Hell yeah, we're live and rolling. Hell, what's up, guys? What's up, dudes? What's up, yeah? Michael Rainey, John Del Calo. What's Thank up, you bros? for having us, man. Dude, yeah, thanks a lot. It's fucking my goddamn pleasure, dude. Dude, we can't get enough of each other lately, John. Yeah, now, dude. So you guys have been doing back little here, rascals, doing bro. Again? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I, this shit fucking rules. What's the, so hit the idea for the people. people All right, so people. Little Stinkers is basically like. Little Stinkers might be. Yeah, I like Little about. Rascals better. Yeah, so we might change it. So from now on. Little fucking idiot, guys. Basically, what Little Rascals is. <laughs> It's a bunch of badass kids. <laughs> it's one trench coat and three kids. <laughs> Two of them are probably sucking the other kid's dick. That's why I don't say anyone's name either. I meet a guy, I'm like, hey, I'll take an attempt at their name. They're just like, what? I'm like, <laughs> you call people dude from now on. Dude, but we're having the time of our lives. With little little stinkers. stinkers. Yeah, but basically little it's rascals. just. <laughs> <laughs> Am I fucking 50 years old? As a comedy skit, you guys got little rascals. <laughs> Go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> We've already done alfalfa three times. <laughs> it's just a real motherfucker. Buckwheat. So neck, you, do, you next spotlight. Week. You spotlight serial murderers, dude. It's just fucked up people. <laughs> people that have done fucked up things who also happen to be very funny. Like last yeah. night, we did a mob guy. That was like our first uh, break away from serial killers. Gotcha. Well, they technically are. They're just glorified. Right. Yeah, that's exactly. true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, he probably did kill a few hundred people. So, Jesus. He's a different <laughs> league of like. He's doing it for. For money, you know yeah, he sold, for the love of the game. sold out. He sold out. He yeah. sold out. Yeah, he's a sellout. <laughs> but we're having the time of our lives. We just switched over to doing them weekly, so I get to see this handsome devil. I wasn't trying to hold your hand, dude. I was just okay, yeah, yeah. Pointing to you, you <laughs> I <fucking> know. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, when you when I heard about him, I think that rules. Yeah, he's so perfect. Good. He's perfect for it. And uh, Jake Matera does a podcast with us, yep. and he's super fucking funny. And he's I been... saw you guys eating. Uh, what the fuck are you eating? Cheddar, oh my God. Uh, cheddar Disgusting apple dude. pie. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, well, you said that like you know what it is. Have you ever uh, tried it? No, I've heard, I've heard of it before. It's pretty right? common Southern fare. Okay, I know I've heard of it before, but it... How did, how'd she taste? Oh, I saw you're not much into trying new foods. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm already like a picky eater. Yeah. I didn't want to do it, but they made what's, me. What's, what's part of your diet regimen? Like what's what's in your like day to day wheelhouse? A lot of McDonald's. You eat McDonald's? I, if I'm passing McDonald's, it's, really? it's going to be seven bucks easy. <laughs> It's, there's no like question. toll booths for you. You're like, God damn it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I just spent $7. It's got a Mickey Easy together? Pass. They should do an Easy Pass where you, you just go in, they just like kind of look at you and like, hey, give them this. And you're like, ah, <laughs> 10 miles an hour. So you're hitting fast foods. Not often. Only if I'm only if I'm driving past Dude, one. Every time I see you. <laughs> yeah, so every time I see this motherfucker, he's got a bag of shit. Well, it's oh, been once keep... a week since I've been going to his place. So there's some cold fries somewhere in your car. At all, at all nah, times. we just get that shit detailed, dude. Really? Trash is out as soon as I'm done. Damn, those African gentlemen are probably munching when they detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made about five dollars in fucking coins and a yeah. hundred in fries. Oh, going, yeah. going in his fucking car, it's like an American blood diamond. <laughs> Fresh off like a thirty-two hundred kilometer walk from like Sudan to Kenya, and they hit your car, and they're just like, "Oh fuck yeah, dude! This place rules." Is that fries laying around? They stay good. <laughs> they do. There's fucking videos of cheeseburgers aging for years. Dude, oh, my uh, Spud found, uh, I think, the top of a biscuit somehow from like a McDonald's sandwich. Yeah. It just sat there for maybe months. Ate it? He munched. Oh, I yeah, believe no. he munched. I don't want to lie on his name, but I believe he I took, Just to prove a point, I think he munched. I believe it. Put butter on it or anything? Microwave it? Just... No, nah, I think he was just mad dogging. Again, I, I know he found this. Whether or not he munched it, could be a pro it could be this dark chocolate coursing through my veins. <laughs> I think he took a bite. I would. 
They, my brother. You got to know. I think I, I'm going to say he, he took a bite, but I'll, you know, let, I'll let him, he'll, he'll, he'll correct me if I'm wrong and I'll come right back to you guys and let you know. <laughs> yeah. A I biscuit think should last less than three days yeah, for dude. being good. Should so. mold. Yes, exactly. No, they put like NASA chemicals in it. Yeah. That's all the astronauts eat. <laughs> big mass. <laughs> it's just big mass. Man, if they get McDonald's breakfast, I will become a fucking astronaut because I haven't woken up in time for that in years. Really? Yeah. You sleep yeah. in. You sleep in late. I do. I'm a lead sleeper. So is this what you tell? What do you tell your doctor when you go to the doctor? <laughs> it must be like a good one. The, they must get pissed. I have dude, the last time I went to the doctor is when I tried to tell her I had gout. Like, oh. I, and she was like, no, you don't get out of here. She was like shutting the door on me. I'm like, is it the shoes I'm wearing? She's like, maybe don't come back. <laughs> you had, you, you had it though. Yeah. What Gillis what diagnosed you, me. Did he? <laughs> he did diagnose me. He should be a gout doctor. <laughs> he, he already is. One is all it takes. So he, he was like, that's gout. Yeah. What does Damn. it look like? Sometimes your foot really swells up, your big toe. Mine never really got swollen, but like the pain was a ten without you, a doubt. What? You look like a gout man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been I've been <laughs> I've been waiting for it to hit me. <laughs> Going you look like a gout back steakhouse, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the blooming big toe. <laughs> so yeah, you had so you had the your toe was fucking toe was hollering. Yeah. Your toe was hollering. Screaming. It happens at night, so it's just like at one point, the sheet, the weight of the sheet on your toe was just like too much. Did, for it, what? did it get better? Air. Did it get bad enough to where like you took your shoe off and you had to describe him as dogs barking? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even touch it. Like if you touch it gently, it's fucking god awful. You got a limp. Does it just come at night? Is it like a sundowner's thing or is it just like all day? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it waits until you're not fucking. <laughs> and you know you're fucked. <laughs> so it came on out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, it came on after, you know, 9/11. 30 years of <laughs> 30 <laughs> years of McNuggets and beers. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's like eating shitty food uh, and alcohol yeah. is what really does. It. Like the day I, I like thought I had it, the day after Shane told me I had it, mm. I ordered like a salad for the first time in my life. <laughs> just like sadly eating mozzarella cheese and fucking. Oh, just limping in a salad works line. Like. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around. Yeah. It's like a foot attack, dude. <laughs> so you had, does it subside if you stop foot. eating all the junk? Dude, like I've had like fish, like fish is one of the triggers, what? apparently. Yeah, like I've had, but it's also, it always coincides with like a fucking summer long bender. Hmm, so it's like if I've been drinking most days for a month <laughs> and then I eat like fish and chips one night for dinner, it's just like the next day. Toe starts to hollow. And, yeah. God damn. It so turns. it's a lifelong, it's, it's terminal. Yeah, and that's why my doctor didn't want to get me on pills. He was like, just fucking try to change your diet. <laughs> so I probably what? have a lot more shit wrong with me. Really? I'm just not willing why, to. Go why are you censoring him? Him. him? No, his doctor. Oh, oh just being like. Yeah. You don't want to you don't want to have gout. Oh, <laughs> basically. Yeah. She, she was like, no, no, no. Because if, if you have gout, you have it forever. And so. it's on your health insurance oh, and all that shit. I don't think that would. You don't think so? In our digital age of information? You're going to go well, get a I shouldn't be you talking about life this. insurance? Scrub this. Is this live? <laughs> no, but we will keep it for a matter of consistency. No, can you smash that computer, please? <laughs> we'll keep it for a matter of journalistic integrity. Um, no, it'll be fine. You'll get a life insurance policy. It'll be like 50 bucks more a month. And they'll give you probably like way less if you die. So that's fine. Are you happy? No, I'm upset. I want gout now. What? I want the pills. I want gout the pills? You don't no, want the gal pills, I don't, dude. I don't. You got to take them forever. True. Hmm. So, oh, just... dude, you can reverse it. My dad reversed type two diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> he just—he was eating like a maniac. Does the news know about it? <laughs> You're talking. I, I read you loud and clear. You're talking about how the vaccines bullshit. <laughs> no. Before I mean, we talk, I read you. I hear you. I thought diabetes. Before we went on, Del like like was like, "Dude, those guys in Australia are kicking the shit out of those cops," and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> What were you saying then? Diabetes is is like, you don't get rid of it, I thought. Type 2. You can you have can, type 2 diabetes and then not have it. It's like you AIDS. You technically still have AIDS, but your like, counts and all the labs come up like as if it you don't have it. You so have. then you can have whatever you want to eat, essentially, as long as you don't overdo it? No, you'll get right back to That's how you keep it okay. at bay, by not eating, you know, like a... Glutton. Yeah, type 2 Glutton. diabetes is, is like a marriage. Like, you'll probably have it for years, but you can kill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you plan it right, you can get rid of it yeah, all. Yeah, right. it, it's creeped back up on him. He got the same thing. 
You guys have the same exact thinking. He was like, my numbers are low, so now I can have ice cream again. Yeah, my foot doctor was hurt. just like, yeah, bro. Here comes his his triglycerides at one point were like, I think like quadruple what they were supposed to be. That yeah. sounds bad, but I don't know what it means. They're Me uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, dude, damn, he, he had that many dinosaurs. Oof. Yeah, it wasn't looking good, dude. He was he was every day hitting like four like a link four soft pretzels together. He would get like a rack of soft pretzels, dong them in the car, and like every other day rip a milkshake on the way home and then eat dinner. <laughs> and that was like and it's and that was like cheesesteak for lunch, sixty ounces of coffee that day. Oh my god. Imagine if the same Africans that cleaned his car cleaned your dad's car. <laughs> oh milkshakes. <laughs> oh dude, that'd be good. Just like a calcified milk like a fossilized shake. Pretzels don't seem like they would pretzels will give you diabetes. That's why you have gout, yes. That's why you have gout. <laughs> They'll absolutely give you it's all well, sugar. It all make makes me sense. a list after this of the things I shouldn't eat. <laughs> I'm glad you're better. So your foot. When's the last time your foot started to smart on you? Uh, <laughs> After you pigged out. This thing smart. After you unscrupulously pigged out. When was the last time your foot hurt? Last summer I had it bad. Really? Oh, dude, yeah. Because at the beginning of quarantine, I was oh, like, we all did. We all did. Dude, I mean, not even. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> we all pigged. Everyone dude, pigged. But I drank like every night at, at home, fucking playing video games, just like drinking seven beers, just getting hammered. Yeah. And then it caught up to me, and I was going on like, yeah, I, I was do going remember. like hiking the next week, and I was like, oh no, oh. what terrible timing. Yeah, what'd you do? I kind, I mean, I didn't drink. You just for camped that week. instead. Like, I'll just let's camp. <laughs> it's not like, <laughs> no, we did some, we did some hiking. Did you really on the gal foot? It like it cleared up. Like I, it's like fucking really? getting weed out of your system in a week. You know what I mean? I was just like, all right, I guess I'll yeah. have healthier food and not seems drink. like your body really doesn't want gout it's screaming at me <laughs> it, seems every day. Like, it seems like it's very preventable if you saw what was in the toilet every day for me you'd go to the er every day really were you going you're loose guys i don't even want to get into it really loose i know a man who's only had diarrhea for like a decade buddy that ain't that's the least of my words really i'm the uh, every day i'm like did i drink blood last night <laughs> It's one way to go, man. I, you know, I can appreciate that. That, I think, is just a hemi. Do you baby I'm your hoping. tootsies now <laughs> at all? No, no, no. I should get, like, pedicure and, mm -hmm. like... True. I wear very supportive shoes now, though. Like, I, when I first got it, I was wearing, like, uh, like Clark's Desert Boots at uh -huh. work. Mm -hmm. And they're just not supportive. Also got them used at a thrift store, so maybe that guy they gave They sell new shoes at a thrift store? True. They were brand new, though. Like, nothing on the bottom. You really? know, you can tell a Clark's been worn once. True, yeah. Uh, but that dead guy probably gave me his gout is what I'm realizing I would right say, now. I would say so. It probably came, it probably rubbed off and got in your shoe. Mm -hmm. There's a lot we don't know about medical technology. Yeah. I guess I'll have to go back and ask <laughs> about that doctor. True. Now. Dude. What, so did she eat her words and say that, uh, sorry to kind of turn you down? Uh, no, I have not gone back to her. It's send her, five send years. her this podcast when it's done. <laughs> True. Let's email it to her. I think she also went to like holistic medicine or something. So she, she wasn't trying to give me pills anyway. Really? It was also very tough to get an Adderall prescription from her in college. <laughs> in my fifth year of college, right before I studied abroad. <laughs> I was like, look, I'm going to be drinking till 2 a.m. every morning. I get 8 a.m.s every day. <laughs> Make with the fucking time release. Like I just, oh, I, ADD just kicked in. <laughs> adult ADD is a real, is a real thing, so. Yeah, you I shouldn't I make jokes you. about adult ADD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John. You shouldn't make jokes about John, adult ADD. John, that's brain gout. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Imagine you're an adult and you're at somewhere. You're at night class, dude, and you just can't pay attention. You're in 25th grade. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, dude. You're at the ITT Technical Institute and you just can't focus. That's fucking hell. And you're laughing. You're laughing at these adults. You're at the Chubb Institute, dude. You're fucking weeks away. Is that real? Yes. It's the Chubb Institute. Yeah, dude. All right. Well, that's where I'm going for grad school. <laughs> What can I be there? What can you be there? Yeah, what like can, an auto tech probably. Auto tech. That'd be uh, good. Fat nurse. A fat nurse. <laughs> they got it all, dude. A fat nurse. <laughs> You'd be a good fat nurse. I would definitely be a fat nurse. If I can be a fat nurse that can fix his own motorcycle, that would be fucking <laughs> sick. Dude, you'd be a great nurse. Thank you. I'm telling you. I think <laughs> for real. What do you know? I don't take that. Out. Yeah. It's not. No. I'm telling you. That's not. I don't think that's an insult at all. You would be make like a. You'd be one of those nurses. I'd be like, this guy's probably one of those like doctor nurses. They have doctor nurses, nurse practitioners. <laughs> That's what my doctor was, a nurse practitioner. Damn. 
She probably didn't want. She probably saw you coming. And was like, oh, no, 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 <laughs> dude. You could make a stellar nurse practitioner. It's basically a doctor. Thank you. It's a doctor yeah. who's just who around. doesn't get paid as much. <laughs> true, but uh, maybe he was not in as much debt as well. A- actually, that is true as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you you're don't in as much debt. I don't know anything that I'm saying, but <laughs> you know, I think you're in slightly I less debt, right. and you're surrounded by more babes. Oh wow. yeah, like the dude nurse school. <sighs> nurse school sleeping yeah. on campus. Yeah, dude. That must oh, wait, be. Yeah, yeah. They do have that's nurse programs at regular colleges. Yeah, man. And it's not like I went to school for social work. That's that's a bad batch. Those are a bunch of rotten apples, dude. Just mean fucking political activists. Were yeah, they like some party younger than nurses? You? Majority of them were younger than me, but Graduate I was definitely age. probably faster than all of them. John. So physically, a bunch of fat girls and scrubs, twenty four seven. Dude, God. you would fucking be in hog head, dude. I mean. That is the neighborhood I live in, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk to the fucking beer store at any time and see that. Oh, it's a nasty nurse getting off. Yeah, a lot of nasty nurses, a lot of the nasty nurses get off and then go night shift and go right to brunch and like drink mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> and they shuffle home in their fucking pajamas. Nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love a good fat nurse, dude. Imagine a bitch in a Jack Skellington shirt telling you to walk. <laughs> You can get up, do it. <laughs> I've got all day. So she started her. Own, I might go. What's her? Do you have her info? I might go to her holistic practice. No, apparently she's, she's back in the regular doctor's office. So again. she 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 went off the medical grid and then bailed on that. I think she just didn't want to see you anymore. <laughs> I, think, I think she just ditched you. She can't make up her fucking mind. How am I gonna get gout pills from her? Fair enough. I dude, I had a therapist ghost me. So don't. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I, I didn't like did you we were her. We met twice, and then it was just kind of. Like, I showed up the next day, and some lady was there, and I'm like, "Who are you?" She's like, "I'm a new therapist." The lady didn't tell you. I was like, "No." She changed offices. I was happy she did. I didn't like the lady. Did you ever like send her an email? No, I just didn't like her. I, I the whole time I was just like, "Damn, this lady sucks." It's the first time I ever went. I'm like, this lady's so annoying. Hmm. And then she just left. She's like, "I'm out of here." I accidentally sent one of my therapists a Facebook friend request. Mm. Yeah, she was so pretty too. And I just happened to look like look on her page by accident because it was like it was like people you know. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I was like, oh, that's I think that's my therapist. And I clicked on it. And as soon as I clicked on it, like my fat thumb hit add friend. Oh. So it was like something wrong with that. A pretty young lady like getting fucking friend requested by somebody that looks like me. I couldn't. I never went back to her. What? Oh, I, I had you just left, up. dude. That's why I'm fucked up. I never got fixed. Cause you you what you didn't want her dude that would have been totally fine you would have went in there and been like hey I I if I saw her on the street now I would run into a truck before <laughs> before she had the chance to catch eyes with me dude I I hear you on that though I I recently was at the playground I ran into our old couples counselor mm-hmm. and it was just the worst comment it's just the most awkward thing because mm-hmm. I'm like sitting there you're talking to her it's like oh how's everything going and I'm just like it's weird for us to be talking in public I just wanted to like mm-hmm. get away immediately. So yeah, it's it's uncomfortable. Same neighborhood. Yeah, we yeah we yeah. yeah. Same neighborhood. We chill. I mean, she was cool. I just was like, this is uncomfortable. I think me and Brittany were like still arguing, so like it didn't work. <laughs> we were like <laughs> just got done arguing. Like, How's everything going? I'm like, it's Covered good. <laughs> it's very good. So yeah, we uh, I don't know why it makes me feel awkward because it's like, I'm like, does this person feel forced to talk to me out in public right now? Yeah, I could have really chewed her ear for like 45. It's been like, hey, got a free session out of yeah, it. Yeah, been like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, he um, couples counseling's fucking wild, dude. Were you guys on swings when you were talking? No, I we should have been. <laughs> we're just in like a mulch pile watching our kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want when you do couples counseling, you want the person just to like fully ride for you, and just just be like, yo, fuck, mm-hmm. you're right. It just never happened. It was kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, to I, both of you though. Only one of you can be right. Yeah, me. That's what I'm saying. I oh, want yeah, I yeah. want it myself to be vindicated at all levels. So mm-hmm. a couple times you disagree with me and I was like, we got to get out of here. This is just not working. My wife and I went to one session and because that didn't happen, I was like, fuck this. Because like my wife started crying like at some point and uh, the therapist told me to hand her a box of tissues. And I was just like, you're not going to fucking you're not going to do this to me. What? Tell me to do. Tell that? me to do. Yeah, this yeah. because I, I, I know how what her moves are. Yeah. True. Yeah, you're. You know, yeah, you're in the trenches. I, I, um, I did that. We did went to couples counseling, my first marriage, and we're trying to like work it out. And I was just like, no, I don't want to do it. And we went there. Same thing. Cries came on. 
and it was the same nudge and i was i steadfastly it was like dude i might go i back. feel like i'm getting tricked right now and i'm not going to participate in this and it, you know yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was now, probably now that i know like this is like their mo i might go back and just start crying as soon as the session starts <laughs> <laughs> Just have a fucking a pin in your shoe. Just walk in crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you, you really can't. You got to. Uh, it's tough. You got to either cry or just rage out. Yeah. You got to have fucking kill you both. You fucking bitches. <laughs> I'll, fucking, I'll burn this whole fucking place. Just do a there. fucking Zangief double fist spin. And like, I'll fucking break everything. Dude, stand against the door like a Bronx tail. Now you just can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even started yet. I'm sitting there, it's like, ah, ah, ah. Just try to kiss her immediately. So like, oh, I fucking love you. <laughs> yeah, man, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to do. And just do because you do. You're supposed to do a one on one. Supposed to do one on one, one on one, and then you come together. Just come uh, and be like, I fucking love you. I've always loved you. Like, you're so fucking pretty and beautiful, dude. You're smart. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of it gets annoying after a while, you know. The one thing I will say that worked, and it, it's like the most infuriating thing. It's like, well, if you guys start to get activated, just say pause, and it's fucking the most ear you because you know I'm in the middle of like being right, and I'm like, here we go, going in for the kill, and mm. it's just like pause, and I'm like, <sighs> fucking fuck, and I just trail the steps like fuck pause, fuck <laughs> fuck fuck. But it does work though, because I come down five minutes later, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm chilling. That's corny. That sucks. Pause. It, you need it, dude. You, you need cheering. You got cheering, dude. You can't. You be on I always feel bad. I start. I get fucking activated. You start to fucking. You know. You talk in one volume. They talk a little louder, and you're like, I'm not fucking losing at this. And you oh, raise yeah. the voice. Goes off. Next thing you know, you see a little kid is looking at you like this, and you're like, Damn, we gotta do better, babe. Come on, babe. Let's get back to couples counseling. <laughs> <laughs> what about silent treatment? You ever just do? Oh, that? I'll fucking hit the roof, bro. If I get if someone <laughs> silent treatments me, I'll fuck. I'll break something. No. What if you do it? You ever try it? Hell no, dude. No. So I got too Below many you? good good Anything? things to say about being right, dude. No. <laughs> is that your move? Pull this in. Oh yeah. Well, you'd be it. an excellent couples counselor. You would be an excellent couples counselor as well. Damn, I'm gonna be a nurse, a fat nurse, and a fat couples counselor. <laughs> dude, you wear your Jack Skellington scrub while you're doing therapy. <laughs> I'm just paying my way through the fat nurse school. <laughs> you would be nasty though. It's all going to be online from a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> With your gout foot on the table. <laughs> the least gross thing happening in the, fucking, in the room. Dude, Dunkin' Donuts is fucked up. It is, dude. I walked back from like Center City last week and stopped in one. Which on one was it? Gerard, like right at the beginning of Gerard. And next what? Next to Beer City. Which, what's the cross street? It's right by 95. Oh, you're over. Oh, I forgot you're on that side of town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was like two thirty in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, "Damn, they even keep the door open on this one? Like, it doesn't have a drive through. I just expected it to be closed. Yeah. It's wide open. Yeah. Like, just dudes waiting for me to come in and order six donuts and a sandwich at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the it might have been a mirage. <laughs> might have been a fucking gout mirage. Dude, I went to the one right next to my house last week, and I like it was like also like two in the morning, and I pulled on the door, and they were like. Go to the drive through And I was like, fuck. So I went to the drive through Wait, then, this is another time you're at Dunkin' Donuts too in the it morning? Was before. I learned my lesson. I had to get back to this one. <laughs> and I went to the drive through and I was like, well, I can't even see the fucking donuts from here. So I had to go back to the door. <laughs> and then by the time I went to the door, there was a line of cars. Oh, oh. So I was like, I'm not going to wait. In the fucking line of cars. No, that's not fair. Foot. Yeah, but you had to you had to go you had to go see what's good. You had to yeah. see the lineup. <laughs> so I went home, I walked back home, and got my car, and then drove through. <laughs> Did you leave a Yelp review? As no. a gouted American. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking about Yelp reviews recently. Just how absolutely hilarious they are. You ever leave one? No, uh, I think I left. You know what? I, I'll take that back. I think I left one for my brother's shop. <laughs> and I think they flagged it. Really? For yeah, nepotism? Yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I think the stuff I was writing was kind of ridiculous. And they tried to write joke Yelps a couple of times. They got flagged. Every single time they got flagged. Really? I don't know. Just like fucking around. I used, to, I used to try to write. I think I, I think I did this where I wrote at least one that was an absolute like ridiculous story. And they were like, nah, bro. Not buying it? Yeah. Like, nah, this is not happening. You're just practicing your fiction writing on Yelp? <laughs> kind of. I just thought it'd be funny to write like just re not like damning Yelps, but just like weird. Yeah, like somebody reads it and like... I don't know whether I want to go to this place or not, but I want to know what the fuck this guy's up to. Yeah, dude, I, I just, I don't know what, I don't have any, I mean, this is like the worst thing to say on a comedy podcast, but like I, every time I do 
I'm like been really laying out my material for the for tomorrow for the mm-hmm. 22nd. Big, big, <laughs> big day tomorrow. Big day. But the I I'm, every time I go through my stuff, I just write Yelp. I have no joke for it, but it's just so funny. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, dude, it's hilarious. You're gonna get there in your set, and you're gonna be like, ah, oh, fuck. Never I'm gonna do it. Joke. I'm gonna do it. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's just it's very gonna be funny. 45 minutes of Yelp crowd work, just nonstop, <laughs> dude. I'm just I read them every now and again. They're so fucking funny, dude. You're gonna freestyle Yelp tomorrow? I might, dude. I want to start doing one where I just just start like documenting. It's, it's very meta, but I want to like save up five Yelps and just like break them down in depth and go into like what happened. What kind of Yelp this is specifically? <laughs> Sounds like a TED talk. Critique Yelps. I, I think I want to. I want to get into like critique, like really meta Yelp thing. But yeah, dude, it's, it's an insane behavior, dude. Yeah, I mean, I've time left. have either of you guys Yelped? I mean, it's fine if you have. Not on I, Yelp. I I've left one that I remember. What was it? What was it? Dude, Yelp? it was so fucked up that <laughs> I was like, I have to Yelp this. Yeah, yeah. I went through this. this a vengeance Yelp. I'll, that's fine. When people yeah. give it like. Four stars. Like the ambiance was nice, but not everything I expected. If you yeah. a vengeance Yelp, hundred percent value. Yes, please. It was it was this uh, soup place in media, and it was the small little shop. I was like, all right, this will be good. I'm a big soup guy. I walk in there. That's a, that's also an emotional letdown. If someone fucks up soup, there, it's so hard to fuck up. But what this lady did was so egregious. I ordered my soup. She goes over. She uh, she scoops some out, puts it in a cup, which wasn't for me, and then she puts the spoon back in. She takes it a bite. What? Uh, puts the spoon back in again. What? And then ladles some more out. So she bit like a piece, like a chunk Dude, of chicken or something? It, in front of everybody. <laughs> she slurped while she did it. I was like, uh, uh, can you cancel my soup? And the, la- the cashier was like, why? I was like, because she just fucking ate out She's of that soup. She's sipping from the cauldron, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she a witch? She, she was very witch-like. Probably 250 of middle eastern descent yeah yeah that's yeah that's a brew for sure <laughs> <laughs> so she sipped from what kind of soup was it I don't, um was it a I can't, I can't be sure but <laughs> was it i like cream based or was it broth i don't like cream based soup it was probably either like a chicken and rice or like a minestrone that's fucking it was in front of fucking everybody there was probably six people in the fucking line you had eyewitnesses too yeah, I was there with my boss, and we both just looked at each other as soon as it happened. Like, you fucking... Fuck? Yeah, give me my money. B-I-T-C-H. Yeah, absolutely. Did or should I say around? W-I-T-C-H? <laughs> 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 so so what, how, how did she feel? Was she Did she give attitude, or was she like, you got me? She you went, got I, red I, Dude, I'll never forget when I said, like, you, you just ate out of that soup, whatever it was, and she went... <laughs> 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 yeah, she, she probably was got on minded for a minute. <laughs> to be fair, she could have been someone's like, per, like, uh, where was she from? You said like Middle Eastern. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, she was dark skinned, so yeah. I just naturally assume everybody that has skin darker than mine is Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say she was. I you mean, know, she probably correctly identified her somewhere within that kind of geosphere. She could have just been like coming from another country where she made soup in the house, dude. And I get it, like a little for the little fucking. Mohammeds, I, dude, and then I'm, she would every now and again would just as a mother of the house would ladle the soup. I get it, I, and I think like that's I mean, how you didn't do anything wrong, but she was probably like, "Fuck shit, I forgot I'm not in like a my Adobe." Matt, I really think <laughs> like be, that's what rude. chefs do, but it's just behind the scenes. You don't right. really yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. Like sure. you gotta like also that's also not a chef. Not a chef. <laughs> <laughs> She's a soup scooper. <laughs> And oh, she was like, just hungry. She's at a place where she gets free soup too. So it's like yeah. she could have just gone and eaten the soup do you in the back. Think, was the manager like you can, you know, you think she's expecting you to come back there and fucking I think they, they just didn't know what to do because it was just the cashier and then this soup slurping lady. <laughs> the dude's going <laughs> getting caught slurping and going. I did slurp. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, no debate. It's like she she knew she was wrong and I I made her get in the corner. <laughs> she knew it. Damn, did. dude, that's so fucking. I funny. think that's the only one I've ever left though. I did leave. What, a- what was the? What did the review encompass? Did you say some Muslim bitch slurped my soup? <laughs> <laughs> I. The title was. Yes, you thought nine so eleven was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, my uh, my friend stayed in. Fuck. What was what, what the fuck was this place called? I can't remember the name of it, but it was like one of those like halfway kintock it's like a halfway house but also you can it's like you can go there if you violate parole or you can also kind of like serve the rest of your sentence out there okay but there was a for some reason it had i like looked it up to find the address it had google reviews 
Mm-hmm. So someone on there like, this place fucking sucks. I was there. And it's <laughs> yeah. like, it's basically prison. They wouldn't let me leave it's or like do a, what I wanted. It's a court mandated halfway <laughs> yeah. house. But the I couldn't one get guy, fucked up there. Someone, you can get super <laughs> fucked up there. What? But, oh my God. Dude, I brought my friend. You can bring people clothes. Uh, and you just bring it in a thing. And the guy takes a trash bag full of clothes. And is like, here you go. And but then dude, it's just filled with drugs. Some, yeah, you can yeah. just line the waistbands and everything. Dude, yeah. some... uh. So one of the reviews was like the Muslim bitch security guard. They don't give a fuck about white people. It's all everyone. Dude, it was so fucking funny. Someone was like, it's all ran by blacks and they favor the other blacks. It was like a Google review. All caps be like they're fucking favoring blacks there. My I was dude, it's so funny. And dude just coming off drugs. So pissed. <laughs> just hitting it with, hits it with the one star Google review. Like, fuck that, man. That place was crazy, dude. I walked in. I was going to give my friend a pack of cigarettes and he was like, no, bring them into me. I need them now. I remember being like, okay, it's weird. And I got caught giving them to him. They kicked me out. No cigarettes? Can't slide the pack. They have to inspect them. Because again, you can have a cellophane wrapper and put anything in them. Right. Did you feel discriminated against by that lady? Yeah, that, yeah, dude. If, dude, I mean, <laughs> two white guys. Yeah. She was letting everything go. He was saying that. He was like, I was asking him and he was like, yeah, bro. It's you guys like, got a case. We had we had a legitimate case. He did, it was funny because I was talking to him about that. I'm like, yeah, I heard this place. I saw the Google review. Said it's pretty unfair towards white people. He mm-hmm. was like, that is true. This place is. But he goes, but you know, having been in uh, jail for a while, and he wasn't trying to like like any kind of brownie points. I was talking to him. He was like, I would say the rest of jail is pretty unfair towards black people. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah. like, a whole other part of this. He's like, from what I've seen, it's pretty unfair. <laughs> you don't have to do it for like six months too, right? What like a halfway house thing? Yeah, it's it was, it was for like, it, yeah, it was for people who were like either finishing out their sentence or if you got out and you're on parole and you violated, but it wasn't bad enough to like go all the way back to a, like a state or so county it's not jail. like a rehab halfway house. So parts of it were, there was the DOC side, which was like Department of Corrections yeah. and failed parole. And then there was the other part too, if you just there's wanted to There's DUI guys and there's yeah, and then there was like criminals. Yeah, like, yeah, like dudes in jail for heroin and shit. But yeah. the, uh, he, what he was saying is you would pass. So if he was on the DOC side, Department of Corrections, then you would pass the dudes who were just in there for like, like their family sent them there. Mm-hmm. And the dudes from the other side would like rough you up and try like, cause they, they didn't have any kind of, they weren't on like probation or anything. So they could like fuck with you. Oh yeah. So he said like the lines would pass and like dudes would just like elbow the, the uh, he was like, dude, they would start fights with you and shit. It was dude, just, up, just imagine the plank, the pranks you would play on the other guys. Oh dude, it must've been never ending. <laughs> but yeah, dude, the, uh, yeah, like filling a fucking dude, pillowcase with soap and beating the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> there's warehouses up there and there's just like, you go, you, like it's right near where the ASPCA is up there. In like where? those kill shelters up near like, um, I guess like not Juniata Park, but like way wow. up, way up above Kensington, all the way up there. Dude, you pull in, it's just like a chain. It looks like a Pepsi factory. And they just have wow. like 80 dudes just in like, like 10 person rooms just chilling. Doing what? He's just fucking serving out weird little like, you know, say you were on parole and you just like passed out. <laughs> In your car at a Wawa because you're like nodding out on Xanax. Yeah. They'll, send you, they'll send you like you got to go there for like two months. The little house, not the big house. It's the little house. Yeah. So you, go to, you go to like junior jail. Yeah. And you chill in there with like 10 other dudes. And meanwhile, they're just the, the guards are just pumping drugs in there and everyone's just getting high as fuck. Oh, damn. Like people are just visibly shooting up and shit. And John's like, I can't go to jail. I got gout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a note. <laughs> yeah, my friend, dude, he told me the funniest fucking story. So he, he was in there recently. Uh, during COVID, got locked right before COVID happened. So he got stuck. He was just stuck in. They didn't. All the cases froze. He's like, yeah. we're all just fucking stuck. In for like two weeks at least, right? Dude, he was in there for like six months, easily. Fuck, easily, if not longer. Honestly, because of like a backlog that occurred, they just no one could see. They couldn't be seen. This is like the yeah. height of COVID. So everyone just got put on freeze. Oh god, and Fuck. everything just got everything got pushed back so fucking. Because I think you'll chill there like a little longer than you should anyway. But this just like everyone was like, you guys are fucked. We're you know like. It's not like you can be like, hey, this is unfair. They're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So he sat there, you know, he, he said it the whole time. It wasn't too, too bad. Cause he's like, you know, I'm, I'm blessed, dude. He was like, I got the TV. You know, he's like, I got cotton on my body. I'm wearing sweatpants. So he's like, I'm blessed, dude. He's like, it's funny as fucking dude. Could you be a prison nurse, John? Yeah. You would, yeah. You'd be stern. You'd be, you know, oh, you'd for be sure. loving to them, but you'd also be like, hey, guys, you crossed the line. Stern but fair, of course. A lot of guys trying to get prescriptions as well. So you know the ins and outs. Uh, I know yeah. someone who was a prison nurse and they were like, it's, a lot of dudes being like, I need to get on X, Y, and Z. And you have mm. to be like, no, you don't. I need to like, out fuck pills. you, bitch. And then you get, fuck you, bitch. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> All right, let's, let's pretend for a second I'm a prisoner that needs painkillers. True. My knee hurts. You want to give it to me? Let me see you jump. 
I got. I got to see if it really hurts. You got to do some good acting. I can't jump. I'm fucked up. Hmm. Let me suck that dick. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many pills did you say you need? <laughs> Dude, so this this guy, I'm not even in jail every day, but I turn gay <laughs> while I'm there. <laughs> gay for this day, <laughs> just one day. <laughs> dude, this dude. So he goes in there. He does, he's in there forever. And then he said his first cell he was cool. And, you know, they're all, but then like the first the first cell he left, and he got left with this dude. He said this guy was like a total piece of shit. Mm. Like he was like, dude, he fucking stunk. He's like it's greasy hair. He just looked like a fucking bum. And he was like also tall and kind of jacked though. He was like, you know, oh, no. this dude could like fight. And uh. So he's like, you know, we got in, we were in there for like two, I had two weeks left, but it was, it, it was fucking hell. And he was constantly threatening to like beat me up and like, you know, and I would like sometimes talk <laughs> shit to him and then he would go to beat me up. I'm like, yo, what are you doing, dude? We're boys. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> so the day, the day the dude had to go do his hearing and he had like, my friend had heard the ins and outs of the case and he's like, bro, this guy was going to get fucking roofed. Like he had no chance. He had so many charges. So he's like, I'm going to get, I forget what it's called. Like when you go get, I guess you're sentencing. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm going to get my sentencing today. When I come back, because my, my friend was getting out that day. When I come back, I'm getting all your shit, TV, all the food, everything. You leave that here for me. Brown was like, no doubt, bro. I got you. And then like, he's like, the dude went in to get his hearing. I took all of my shit and his and gave it away to everybody. <laughs> on the fucking bar. This, em- this guy, he's like, because I know he was going to get hit with the worst news. And he came back to a totally empty cell. And he's like, I got out that day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this guy's gonna kill you, dude. Yeah, he's gonna That's... murder you when he gets whatever he does, dude. It was making me laugh so hard. Like, no doubt, bro, I got you. And he's like, he's, he's like, even his stuff. He's like, yo, who wants this? Who wants this? Gave everything away. That might be the best prank I've ever heard. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> solid. Just realize that like the next seven years of your life, you're gonna be in like a state prison, and then you come back to just totally empty. You think you're gonna have a TV? All of it's And then gone. there's people like wearing his shit and watching his TV <laughs> in there, right? Like, nah, that shit's mine now. Some dude just munched. Someone's sipping oh, soup. Man. Someone was sipping soup big time, dude. Oh, man, That's this my, is my soup. <laughs> yeah, you want this is my Rugrats hoodie. A <laughs> uh, mutual friend of ours, I he had done some county time in Delco. And I just asked him what it was like. He's like, it's just annoying. He's like, there was one day where somebody stole his um, fucking bipolar meds out of his cell. Damn. And he's like, I had to go through like a whole chain of command just to get my shit back. I had an idea who took it. He's like, but I knew it would have set off a whole nother set of problems. Yeah. So I had to go through like, okay, this guy, let's talk to this guy. And then eventually a guy walks in and says like, oh, I found these. And it's like, dude, what are you going to do with fucking bipolar meds? Yeah, that's really fucking annoying. Crush them up and snort them. What the fuck do you think he's going to do? (laughs) Smoke them. (laughs) Anything. Dudes in jail will get high on pretty much anything. Dude, yeah. If you find a pill, you just trick your brain into thinking Gobble it, yeah. it'll fuck you up. I worked with a dude one time. I believe he was a heroin addict, but he, uh, we walked into like the boss's trailer and he just, like, we were in a construction site. Dude, he, I watched this dude t- open up a bottle of Tylenol, dump like seven in his hand and just fucking throw him down the hatch. Jesus I was like, Christ. what the fuck? <laughs> I was- did, when I, when I ran it, the first time I had a prescription for painkillers, I got, a, I got Vicodin for like break, punching a refrigerator. Sick. <laughs> you know, I just made fun of girls on Twitter for saying refrigerator, and I just said it like a fucking dickhead. <laughs> so punching a refrigerator. I, I I punch a fr- well. I bought I bought my wife earrings, and right. it was especially sad because we were living with my parents at the time because I just got out of rehab the Swag. summer before. Swag, <laughs> <laughs> swag. So you're the man. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Where'd you get the earrings from? Springfield Mall. Hell yes, dude. So Can I got- ask her store. Um. You had a piercing pagoda. To it was. Things over. It might have been piercing pagoda because it was like it was right next to like if I think it was between sparrows and things remembered. So whatever was there, <laughs> that's what it was. So I presented so my funny. wife with these uh, earrings in my mom's kitchen, and she opened the thing up and she laughed and she's like, "I don't even have my ears pierced," and I just fucking lost it. And I punched the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it was your mom's you- fridge too. <laughs> And then they gave you fucking just that's a satisfying punch though. You hear like the ketchup bottles rattle. <laughs> Popsicles fell out. <laughs> that's like a slot machine, dude. But I got I got Vicodin for that, and it was the first time I ever had painkillers. Oh, so you never had painkillers before that? I had never had them. So Jesus I, I got painkillers and I wasn't drinking, so I just got a bunch of O'Douls. And I sat in front of the TV and crushed Vicodin and O'Douls for like a weekend. And then, um, Yo, these are duels are kicking in, yeah. dude. I think that, <laughs> <laughs> but then I recognized it's like, okay, these, these are the painkillers are making me feel this good. And then as I ran out, I was just like, all right, well, maybe if I just take like, like 15 fucking Tylenol, it'll have the same effect. 
What to do? Uh, nothing. Oh. It just made me want painkillers even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it'll fry your liver. I think the acetaminophen. Yeah. Or whatever it's called. And Tylenol. Like, fucks. It'll, it will. Yeah. A certain dose, like, you'll shut your liver off. Yeah, that's mm. the one you're not supposed to drink on. Yeah. 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 Especially not some duels, dude. <laughs> Fine yeah, try Advil cool. next time. So. <laughs> <laughs> it might be profane. That might be the best story, though. Man, that was just getting rewarded. I mean, what a perfect reward! Just fucking punching that, and it's like, yeah, you think things are bad? Try these. Try opiates now, and you're like, <laughs> tantrums huh? out. He's fucking kicking the oven the next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do I get pills out of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting hooked up was it was it was crazy how much they gave those things out. You brought up a valid point earlier before we went on to Alcala, talking about how the medical establishment just gave us opiates without any kind of discernment. Now we're supposed to trust them again with the vaccine. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> oh, my God. Your word is not his, dude. Did you how the same that bodies, in the mirror? No, how the same bodies who basically sunk the global economy into like a national meltdown through, you know, looking the other way to corporate greed led us into the subprime, uh, subprime financial mortgage crisis. Those same bodies are leading us out of this one. You were talking about that. Could you elaborate on that? You're talking about the Sacklers? <laughs> Let's get into it, baby. No, I, my only thing going into this, like, I'm just going to say hot political takes. Make Del Calo, you were saying that. <laughs> I like Elabor- that. It's a good bit. Yeah, it's pretty funny. The, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's funny. It is funny how people, I know a lot of people who, uh, and I've been thinking about this a lot, just like hearing about Percocets and none of us knew what the fuck they were. Mm. I remember everyone, like my friend showing me them and everyone and just being like, I remember I was just like, I hated medicine ever since I was younger. And I was just like, like, I remember being like, dude, why are we doing medicine? Like, this sucks. But, you know, some people got their hands on them. We're like, this is the ticket. Mm-hmm. These things rule. Yeah. Well, yeah, it wasn't until I took those that I thought the pills did anything. Yeah. I was like, I don't believe in that. Yeah. But, man. Yeah, I know dudes. Maron, that. that's a medicine. <laughs> yeah. That's a spicy medicine. <laughs> I, know, I know dudes that used to take like 30 of those things on a weekend easily. Man. God damn. They go, they go down easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spicy addiction. <laughs> Dude, so please tell me more. I, I know we were on a, a, a tangent, but I do want to learn more about Little Stinkers, dude. That is a fucking fascinating Oh, we're having topic, a blast, dude. man. Who is, what, are, what are some of the standouts from um, earlier apps? Uday from? Hussein. Yeah, definitely. That the guy man. was fucking wild. It's hard not to love him. What did he do? Saddam's son. Oh, he, he was a serial killer? Um, or I just mean, like in a the sense that, like, yeah. tortured and killed yeah, I, I, Iraqis. I'll count it. But my favorite thing that he did is uh, he and his boys would just crash wedding parties. And he would walk in and he would just start firing an AK-47. What? Yeah. He would take brides. There's videos of that on YouTube of him just at a wedding being like. He's just whispering. So like he, he wants it to be a surprise to everybody. So like his bodyguard brings over an AK-47. Another guy hands him the uh, magazine for it. And he just starts popping off in the wedding. <laughs> and he would just go take brides. and Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's so like Gavin Newsom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was at the French French Laundry with no mask. <laughs> oh, so he's like Gavin Newsom. <laughs> that's dude, that's insane. And they were just no wonder fucking they didn't they like wait, who killed uh that guy? I don't want to say Osama bin Laden. Fucking Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein, yeah. Uh I think the he was Iraqi actually, people, right? The Iraqi yeah, people, he yeah. Was obviously. Well he was executed. He, he was um Jesus he was hung, I think. Yeah, yeah, they hung him from like a bulldozer or something. I think they fuck. We oh, had a legitimate fun. trial. I think oh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm thinking of home, I'm sorry, I'm thinking I think of season finale of Homeland. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Gaddafi. They stuck a stick up his ass. Yeah, that's the way to go. Whew. Yeah, man, just oh, to death. Uh, I, th- I think like <laughs> I think partly to death, and then like beaten, trampled, and like Jesus. I think Christ. the Clintons ran him over too with their <laughs> Range <laughs> Rover. <laughs> yeah, they hit him with Grave Digger. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That'd be funny if the Clintons just unleashed Gravedigger in fucking Lebanon or wherever, you know, wherever the fuck they are. Um, I went to, uh, oh. what do they call that with the fucking monster? Monster truck rally. I went there one time and there's a truck that like, it looks like a dog and a wheel came flying off at one, at one point and the guy says, well, they're going to get that fixed real quick because you can't keep a good dog down. <laughs> I can't believe rules. these tickets were free. I must have crushed, dude. It was electric. That must have destroyed. You can't keep a good dog. Dude. God <laughs> damn. Guy, guy, that guy probably demanded head when he went home. He's like, no, you don't understand. You have to suck my dick. You should have seen me out there. He waited to get home before he got head, you think? <laughs> yeah, the other guy might have instantly been like, oh. That dude was getting gobbled in the locker room that true, night. True, <laughs> true. 
Damn, that must be some good groupie pussy, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, well, you're the announcer for Monster Truck Rally? He's like, I sure am, man. There's probably a hundred girls trying to fuck the drivers after every one of those rallies. He's pro- You know what he probably does? He probably, uh, like... Maybe not. <laughs> probably- <laughs> I'll bet you, dude. John, could he, be, could be. He probably does an announcement for, like, the bitches that go. He's like, uh, look at Desiree in the Dodge Neon. <laughs> <laughs> she is glowing like no tomorrow. <laughs> That's definitely a hand job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, th- yeah. you could be right. That's a... Uh, you could be getting some very fat hand dude, jobs. Every profession, every like showmanship True. profession has sluts. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Yes. Dedicated sluts. You're absolutely right. It's thank yeah. you. No, I, I think that's a very fair point. You think when you start doing nursing competitions, like you'll find your sluts, <laughs> <laughs> like nursing CrossFit, <laughs> fucking gal Fuck races. Nurses. <laughs> <laughs> nursing crossfit would be sick <laughs> just hoisting bodies by yourself just fucking grabbing bags of pee and just being like <laughs> oh yeah it is pretty good blood fucking, and piss and shit it's that's pretty gnarly dude not, knowing they like they see an old person come in that's that's grit dude knowing you gotta like yeah, gonna wipe, wipe an their old fucking person mm, just see an old person's pussy. balls i'd pass out yeah dude i used to be a, a, i'd pass out <laughs> I, used to, uh, I used to have to shave balls as an operating room orderly what and when people would what, come in, what uh, what attachment would you? What was your preferred? Size? <laughs> a one. <laughs> a three, Sorry, one fade. Sometimes if it was like a Latin guy, I'd give him a fade. <laughs> I turn it off to talk to my boys. <laughs> did, you, did you go? Did you talk about baseball? You're like yo, did you go straight metal on the buzzer? Or did you put like a little? No, there there was an attachment on. Well, they would give you like a disposable like electric a floby. Laser. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it was like it was like handheld, so it wasn't like floby sized. But, you have to um, break out like a sterile thing every time, like a barbecue artist. I think I remember it came in a package. Yeah. Oh, really, but, dude? One thing I was I was always very like socially awkward, and I didn't know that's an awkward situation. <laughs> <laughs> awkward. <laughs> nice day, huh? <laughs> dude, to that point, like I didn't know if I was supposed to shave the whole pubis, so I would just go halfway. <laughs> Then eventually, like one day, my boss is like, "Dude, what the pubis? <laughs> what's the pubis? Look, like up to the belly, the whole playing field." <laughs> so you're talking about like taint. Balls and it just like, it just yeah, just the whole enchilada. Whoa, the the whole pubic mound. What did you do? I would go halfway, like whatever side. They- <laughs> <laughs> Two facing them. <laughs> Are you just yeah, enough to swing his meat over? Just so you're giving. <laughs> Look what you did to me. <laughs> so you saw a lot of dicks then. What did that do? What Brother. Did you, what did that do? <laughs> How did you feel about it? I never like got the opportunity to see a ton of dicks. What did that do for your worldview in terms of like It was eye opening, man. It's it's like spending a semester abroad. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lot more tolerant. <laughs> But dude, the worst would be like when, when a fucking oh. when a monster bird would come in there because you gotta like you gotta like flick it away. Would you like, have like a stick for an apparatus for like? <laughs> what'd you do for that? Uh, elbow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would just use the clipper to like just nudge it to the side. Are, Are they, they passed conscious? out? No, like when they get so this they side, could hold their own dick to the side, but they, they want they you could, to. But like most people, like they just assume that you know what you're doing and you're not just the fucking nineteen year old moron who's in the corn. And it's not your first day <laughs> shaving people's pubes. <laughs> Did they tell you this is what you're going to be doing at first? No, like they have like the chart on the bed and like. What the fuck? Have you ever talked about this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I might have mentioned all that. Before. God, this is hilarious. But it's um, the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. yeah well, you don't even wasn't. know what you're applying for. <laughs> just fucking, all right, and you're, this, this was not your the job description. I had shaving dicks in a fast paced environment. Matt, I had I had two weeks of training and like I didn't get to do that during my two weeks of training. Because it was like they want you to do training from each shift. So yeah. I spent like a few days on first, few days on second, few days on third shift. And at no point during the training did the um, did the pube shaving come up. Because I had a great guy that trained me and everything else. Yeah. And then when it came time to be on my own, pretty pretty early on, like there were two operating rooms that were designated for like hernia surgeries. Yeah. Or <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. It was two that were designated for hernia surgeries. And they're just like, uh, yeah, you got to give this guy a shave before he goes in there. I was like, uh, and I was too bashful to say like exactly what do I have to shave? Yeah. But I walked in and it's just, I saw that he was like getting a hernia on his fucking like whatever side sure, it was. Yeah, yeah. And I just started like shaving. It's clear where the hernia was. But and like I, how much room do you need to operate? I see what you're saying. You right. Yeah. I, I was too bashful to ask for that. I just felt like a fucking moron. Imagine a doctor sending him back. Like who yeah. the fuck shaved this guy's dick? <laughs> yeah, just yelping about me. <laughs> I have a hernia scar. I wonder if you shaved me. Oh, let me see it. Yeah, he's dude. He's seen it all, dude. Don't be shy. No, that's not me, dude. Nah, that's not his work. That's not his work. 
Also, your haircut's looking fresh. Dude. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it just That's came nice. from there. And uh, man, thank you. Billy was kind enough to set up Call of Duty in his roommate's room for him. And uh, I just feel terrible for for his roommate. He's going to come home and see a ten year old boy, my cousin Frank, screaming dude. the n word while he's playing Call of Duty in his bedroom. <laughs> it's my so, cousin. Sorry, Frank. Frank. It's my cousin Frank, bro. I hope you. Uh, I know he's a cool dude. Sweetheart. Yeah. Sweetheart. True, but yeah, you know, dude's got a game. Yeah, he's got a game. He's gonna game hard, dude. He, my son, man, he fucking goes for it. <laughs> he really comes out of a shy. I gotta like the only time where I really have to correct him because he's like the sweetest kid in the world is when he's gaming. Like I gotta tell him to keep it down, dude, because he fucking comes out of a shell. He acts like he's fucking screaming about va- vaccine mandates at school. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, dude. Like he goes, hard. I'm with you, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we gotta go to bed. Yeah, we gotta go to sleep. <laughs> But that was very sweet of him to do that. Yeah, dude. You got to fire the boy up on some games. Man. He'll, he'll Billy's a sweetheart, dude. He really is. Billy's a sweetheart. And he's fantastic with kids. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. With, dude, Maya loves him. Have you ever thought about maybe like playing a trick on him and adopting a kid and just dropping him off here for him? It wouldn't even phase him. He'd be like, oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Put on Call of Duty for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'd be like, yeah, play some games. I'll be back. Teach him how to use the oven. Go to work for eight hours. Yeah, he, he would. Dude, he would come back. Yeah, he's, he's very good with kids, man. A sweetheart. Gentle, gentle giant. Did you have that before you had kids? Yeah, I love kids. Mm-hmm. I always love kids. I never did, especially when I hear women say, like, I hate kids. I'm always like, you wretched bitch. How? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Why would you say that? Yeah. I that's love a weird kids, take. man. I fucking, a lot of girls are saying that now. Like, I fucking hate kids. It's like, here, come here. Let's go on a hike. Kick you down a hill. <laughs> Kick you down a hill, you wench. That's probably what happened to Gabby Petito. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the, that's the, uh, was that the person who went did van life and disappeared? Yeah. yeah. Dude, my parents fucking spazzed on me because I, I was like, who? And they're like, you haven't heard of this? And I was like, what happened? They're like, it's a whole story. It's been for two weeks. The so, one missing girl in the news. You haven't heard about it? We always, we do have one. It's a, I'm assuming that it, clearly this is a white chick, right? Yeah. 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 This is a, this is a very uh, white. So she did hashtag van life. I'm assuming. Hashtag van life. Yeah. Things didn't go well. They're like, hey, we're here in beautiful. So, babe, babe. It's not the right ankle, babe. <laughs> and then they got in a fucking, they got in a tuffle, you know, a little scuffle. Yeah. Cops came. And then they, I think they murdered the girl or something. What happened? Uh, <laughs> He's right up your guys' alley. It's perfect. They, they let the dog loose and the dog ripped her fucking throat out. <laughs> she was like, I don't want kids. And he was like, poof. Now, now she's vlogging about Wings Life. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she disappeared. And then the guy came back. Like, what happened? He was like, oh. And yeah, then yeah, he yeah. disappeared. What a fucking idiot. Dude, he what? was supposed to be gone till October. Like he could have fucking figured something yeah. out, you know. So he just came right back. Yeah, yeah. But oh, have you ever fuck, murdered I your girlfriend? To... Have you ever murdered your girlfriend in a van? It's a lot. Yeah, you. It's you're a like, lot to what? You gotta back. what? Get back to your family. Yeah, dude. Make sure they don't talk to anybody. Yeah, you, dude. As soon, if you murder someone in cold blood, especially your girlfriend, first thing you'd do, you'd seek your family out immediately. You'd be like, guys, I just fucking murdered my girlfriend. She was so fucking annoying on hashtag van life. <laughs> 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 we were doing hashtag van life, and she wouldn't fucking stop, dude. She, I didn't want to go to any of the places she wanted to go. <laughs> she yapped. The cops came. It was embarrassing. And then I fucking murdered her. Do you think vloggers get into heaven? Vloggers? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a good question. Or if they just like put them in like some alternate reality where it just looks like they're getting billions of views and they're just like, yes. Probably. Yeah, probably. I've reached data Nirvana. Farm. It's just an internal loop of like, hey guys, what's going on today? <laughs> We're going to eat a fucking piece of pie. At blah, blah, yeah. Smash like that. Subscribe. Smash that motherfucking guest <laughs> book. Oh, dude. They're all day long. They're fucking just a never ending. It's just a stream of comments. And it's like, yeah, awesome. So great. And they're like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Can't wait to watch this for eternity. Then the boyfriend who murdered her goes to hell and everyone's like, gay. <laughs> gay ass man. He's like, oh, oh. Looks at the like ratio. He's like, oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, dude. That's, uh, yeah, my, my parents were like so fucking stoked on that. Not yeah. stoked. They were like, like, oh, my God. Concerned. Or like yeah. invested in Dazzled, the story. Dazzled, I would say. Dazzled. Yeah. Yes. Very invested. Well, it is very... insane. Mm. It's a fucking crazy story. Like, and the guy yeah. still hasn't been found. Well, that dude is either. He's on the run. He's either killing himself in a Florida nature preserve or is trying to camp as long as he can. That would be cool if he's like blasting, taking care of business right now. <laughs> <laughs> Making his own tree fort. He's become Smoking Dennis the Menace bad guy. The cops are watching him. They're like, all right, let him get to the work and overtime part. Then we'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> work out. All right. Cuff me. Fuck yeah, man. I, I was so sad to see that their hashtag van life didn't work out. 
Also, that's such a fucking, <laughs> that's such a horrible idea. I've heard people talk about that. I mean, that's the dream when you're older. Yeah, but a lot of RV. youngsters are doing it now. A lot of youngsters are thinking they can kind of avoid hard work and go out in the van and, you know. Well, I mean, if she, so if she, she had a good internet connection, maybe she could have lived off true. YouTube views or something. But yeah. I think people do do that, but it's like. It's like going into comedy. It's like the chances you have of actually yeah. being able to live off of the fucking internet. Van life. And yeah. then, dude, imagine if you are living off of van life. And again, it's just fucking, mm-hmm. you're driving and it's like, dang, yeah, you're just fucking like, fucking Christ. Yeah. Dude, fucking. Give me a break. What if he's, hey, let's check out, let's check out this, uh, this cactus. <laughs> What if like the killer boyfriend like starts his own channel now, like on the run van life, <laughs> become super successful? John McAfee's in like Orlando. Yeah, dude. He uh, R.I.P. Dude. Um, yeah, dude. Oh man. R.I.P. to the bro. Happy birthday in heaven. I mean, John dude. McAfee. Can anyone buy? Where's the van? That's the question. If you want a million, if you cop the murder van, the van's back at the parents' house. I mean, cha-ching, so somebody dude. dropped him off in the nature preserve. Clearly, yeah. And took the car back. Yeah, I mean, dude. And then they didn't tell anybody for like three how days. Much? How much? How much for that van? If you're like, hey guys, live from the murder van, you're checking out fucking. <laughs> I mean, it's already set up, dude. That's like 15 G's easy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Setting up a fucking van is like. Dude. I mean, there's kind of look like shit. It wasn't like well done. Call the parents of the boyfriend and be like, do you mind if we take this thing out? For yeah, I'm actually going to Colorado next week <laughs> to see Grateful <laughs> Dead. Can I fucking. <laughs> Can I sell t shirts out of this? Uh, <laughs> vlogger to vlogger. Uh, do you mind? <laughs> Dude, that would be such a flex to pull up in that thing. But yeah, this is the sensational. You get it wrapped with <laughs> the body cam footage. Is there, what's the, is there any footage? What's their last video? They made? Uh, it must be. It must uh, be so. I hope, I hope they put it up. I hope they put it up. What? An hour but I mean, like, he, I think who's wearing like, a body cam? Uh, the cut when they got pulled over and you. Oh saw. right, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. But so like, so it's they like them were interviewing both of them separately. How, what was the vibe? She Icy. she was crying and he had marks on his face, so they were fucking each other up. Yeah, so she scratched him. Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's an open and so shut fuck. case, man. It's so fucked up, man. That's such a fucking nightmare. Yeah, but she did scratch him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a man can only take so much. <laughs> Man, Especially van life, his dude. lawyer's like, dude, let that thing get infected. We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dude. He's in the wind. He's probably in another country. He's already built for the road, dude. That guy can survive off nothing, dude. For, for that scratch alone, they should put her corpse on trial. True. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll find it? Crazy. They, <laughs> they, they did. did. Yeah. What they did? Yes. I don't know any of this stuff. Where oh, yeah. was it? You want me to give you the whole rundown? <laughs> yeah, give me the fucking. Rundown. We're back to square one. I think well, you got all the information. What the, was the condition? What, the what boyfriend it? went back to get her, and he weakened at Bernie's her for the next video. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a channel. I, I don't know. They had to finish their final video. Together. I don't think they released like how she died though. No, I think the uh, autopsy is today. Really? But they did. Where did they find her? In a Six Flags, <laughs> in fucking the Bat Coaster at Six Flags. <laughs> I don't know. She was like this when I found her. It's actually not a bad move. Take someone up to like the Tower of Terror and fucking fuck the last second. They just, Babe, no! Like, dude, she fell out of the fucking Tower of Terror. <laughs> she fell out of the Tower of Terror uh, seemingly eight hours after she died. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. She was dead. That's, that's weird. <laughs> Uh, oh, so tired. there really are ghosts in here. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> so, see, they found her body. They found the remains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's looking like the boyfriend might have had something to do with it. I mean. They said the murder. Okay. Autopsy cause of death. came in and murder is the uh, cause of death. Murder is the case that they gave him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so now that guy's are uh, still pending, but they have enough to confirm that it is her and she was murdered. He gave her the ultimate scratch. <laughs> so now he's officially a suspect then. Oh, yeah, officially. Yeah. Cause they're searching for him. They found okay. the link. Yeah. They got the link. Yeah. So he is on the lam. God damn, dude. What would you do? I wonder if he can negotiate to <gasps> like when he, if he gets convicted, like finish his sentence in the van. True. He's just like, look, it's the same size. Yeah. I didn't want to be here in the first place. <laughs> He should be able to do a hashtag. Or do you think... No, nah, he'll be in jail for the rest of his life if he gets caught. I think he killed himself? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I mean, he's in the fucking woods, dude. Like, with a federal manhunt, you know? Yeah. I don't know, but I mean, they lost track of him already once. I know. I mean, he does have fucking dipshit cops on his, on his side. 
So maybe he could escape for a while, but like they'll get him. Is yeah. he gonna swim to fucking Cuba? You know, like true. He's got nowhere to go. Just an island of wife murderers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kidding. I don't know anything about the people. On the Cuba. bright side, their one YouTube video has four million hits now. Ah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So that's what and you YouTube gets all the fucking money. Up. She finally yeah. fucking. YouTube if you want to blow money, up, bro. you have to kill your girlfriend. Yeah, I guess. I, maybe he does. No, he doesn't get shit. He's a fucking murderer. Hey, can you kill me so yeah, Little Snickers takes <laughs> off? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on the they first vi- video. Oh, yeah, no. That's no, what no. you call a American so success so. story. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at, guard dog? God damn it, dude. I'm like a motherfucking bloodhound all the time. You are. <laughs> okay, wow, RD, don't fucking damn. ruin the illusion. Dude, they should have put you on the uh, potato murder. <laughs> Matt, what time is it? <laughs> Sorry, where are we at uh, on the body? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Um, God damn, dude. So they got the feller. I'm gonna call my mom. And be like, no, no. They got the lady. They got sorry. They got the lady. Did they say she was? She was pretty bruised up then. I mean, murdered by a human, yeah. not an murdered, animal. Clearly right? murdered. Yeah. It was a run by footing. Well, but there were were there any uh, were there any you know what? Uh, dude, I'm, my brain is absolutely shutting off. Witnesses. No, I don't believe so. But there's a few people that have saw my the... Case. They have a bear in custody. Bro, uh, <laughs> the boyfriend was like hitchhiking in like a tiff. Yes, I heard about after, this. And like a couple picked him up and then he got out abruptly. Because they were he heading towards Wait, where... a couple did yeah. pick him up? A yeah. couple picked him up and then they said he was weird. They said, we're going to like Teton National Forest and he was like, oh, I can't go there. Yeah. So <laughs> you better let me out, out here. That's so I, funny because they're yeah. probably about to pull, pick him up and like, he could be a murderer. And like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hitchhiker. What are the chances? He's a nature yeah. lover. His name's Brian. He's a murderer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that must be the weirdest energy if some guy just murdered their girlfriend. Like, thanks for the ride. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> Dude, and he's probably checking his YouTube like, fuck. You guys, fuck you guys got any Dave Matthews band on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how I. And, uh, oh, they found the body because uh, another Van Life family had footage of their van at a certain place at a certain time. That's van on van surveillance? Yeah. Well, wow. They all came together to find, uh, so find out where lifers. the body was. Van lifers spotted out. Yes, their drone had like footage of what? the van that they saw on the. What news. are people yeah. fucking doing? So they had they were droning out of a van. <laughs> I guess wait, that's what? espionage, bro. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> a federal. If they're offense. in a national park. That is a federal offense. National yeah. forest, maybe not. This is the real crime. <laughs> <laughs> let's get those motherfuckers to help solve the case. Fuck this guy. Yeah, let's bring them in. To All right, let's call it a draw. Mm. They probably will end up getting some kind of fine for that drone footage. Now they better. Oh no. Nah, I bet you think they'll get it? Someone will probably squash it. Dude, there's always some fucking dickhead. That should be the rule now. Like, DA. All right, if, if there's a murder on there, you're not in trouble. Well, it should be good, too, if that DA runs for, like, someone just throws the book at the guys with a drone, runs for political office. Man, you fucking find a drone guy who solved a murder, and you're like, dude, I had a fucking, you know. Rules are rules. Prosecution rate, dude. Yeah, exactly. Rules are fucking rules. We need a hardcore rule meister to come back. <laughs> we need a hard rule meister. Let's go to the page. Dude, you guys fucking rule. Dude. Yeah, put nice all the man. shit out. Oh, hell yeah. Put the yeah. shit out to the boys, dude. Little stinkers. Little stinkers uh, obviously. Just started the Patreon. Check that out on YouTube and iTunes and all that shit. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Johnny Delco. Uh, yeah, Little Stinkers again. If you like hearing about fucked up people who do fucked up shit who also happen to be very funny, I think you'll enjoy Little Stinkers. And uh, yeah, keep checking out that meet if you're already on there. Ted, you guys fucking rule. Thank you so this much. Is the best. Thanks, Thanks for having me, buddy. Man.